The Australian Outback. It is hot, it is dry and it is vast. But sometimes the rains return. It floods the river plains, turning them briefly into massive river systems. And when the waters recede, this dry land is transformed into a green lush pasture. It was the latter that attracted the early European settlers with their sheep and cattle. But then the drought returned. The vegetation turned brown and the water holes dried up. The thin soils, disturbed by the hoofs of tens of thousands of animals, blew away. The animals died, leaving farming communities devastated. But then the farmers started again, building irrigation systems and dams, trying to grow grain, fruit and rear cattle, until the next drought. This is the story of Australian agriculture and how it did grapple with the unpredictability of Australian climate and environment. It is the story of how Australian farmers have tried to grow food and cotton and conserve the environment with all the environmental ignorance, the violence and courage that marked this endeavour. It is a tale of small town tragedy, of strange social and agricultural experiments, of idealists, visionaries and the contradictions of the dam projects that destroyed Australia's largest river system. A new book entitled the Broken Promise of Agricultural Progress, an environmental history, journeys to the inland plains of Australia and tells the story of how the arrival of modern agriculture promised ecological and social stability, but instead descended into dysfunction. Listen to the podcast episode of Exploring Environmental History with Cameron Muir, the author of The Broken Promise of Agricultural Progress.